Five different ways to make passive income as a developer. Yes, in this video, we're going to be discussing five different options that you can explore to make money passively as a developer. But first, what the heck is passive income? Well, passive income is anything that you make money of that doesn't require a lot of work. But first, you're going to be putting a lot of work in the beginning, but at the end, it doesn't even need your presence to continue making money. Yes, and this is what passive income is, and we're going to be exploring five different options in this video that you could start earning income passively as a developer. Number one, teach online if you love teaching like me i love sharing my knowledge with others and then this passive income is definitely for you so all you have to do is navigate to a platform like teachable for example if you go to teachable it is a great platform that you can leverage to put courses out there now teachable has different plans according to what you're looking for but you can pretty much reach out a course that you share what you know as a developer with others and you can start making money with it completely for free the only downside about this is if you get the free plan you're going to be paying this much in transaction fee if you don't want to pay any transaction fee you might need to consider into the 99 dollars a month second place is thank you fee thank you fee is another great platform e-learning platform that you can leverage to put your course out there online for people to attend watch or do anything they want to do with your course by getting what you, by getting your knowledge that you share with them thank you fee is a great platform that is currently being leveraged by those big players out there like shopify hood so later a lot of different places are using thank you fee in order to put courses for the audience online now if you want to take a look at their pricing as well with the free plan you you got way much more option than teachable but you can put limited courses on limited students and you can get one site admin account for free completely for free but if you want way more access you might need to consider upgrading with the plan 39 in order for you to start now one other thing i want to mention with thank you for that's actually really cool is with thank you for you get a lot more customization out of box which means if you want to customize your landing page you got a lot more option compared to teachable but again you can put your landing page aka the first page that the people see information about your courses anywhere you can put it on wordpress anywhere that you want to put it but again thank you for is another great option that you can use in order to put your courses out there and of course our all udemy who does not know udemy i feel like at this point everybody knows udemy it does not even require an introduction yes udemy is a place that can go and get a lot of courses for very low price but again you as an instructor the more students you get the more money that you're making and your course is on there and you just need to just put it first on there which require a lot of work in the beginning but at the end you're gonna be making money passively it doesn't gonna require your presence of course if you're putting if you're building a real business out of it, out of it you might need to continue updating your courses so that your student could be getting the best content and the latest from whatever you have on your course on udemy but again udemy is a great platform that you could start putting courses out there as an instructor or sharing your knowledge it doesn't matter what it is whatever you know there's always somebody willing to learn what you know this one is a little bit more advanced and this is the tools that a lot of great entrepreneurs we're talking about people that are making a lot more money that use to build what they call funnel now if you haven't heard what funnel is the typical to put it in a way that you do understand the old way of doing things is everybody needs a website right everybody needs a website but these give you way more than a website these give you like a complete funnel that you can convert and either in even even upsell or downsell your customer now click funnel is a great company and you can use it for a lot of things you can use it to not only sell courses on there you can use it to sell your coaching services or any other services that you want to sell then you might need to consider check and click funnel out now their pricing is a little bit high if you're just starting out but to get started with the basic plan you just need to go and create a funnel which is 20 uh, 20 funnels 100 pages and 20 monthly visit per month but if you really want to enjoy the benefits of click funnel you might consider upgrading to the plan of 249 again it is very powerful but if you're just starting out you might just need to stick with things like teachable or thank you for or just put your course on udemy in order for you to start teaching your course now these are all great platforms that you can teach and start making a passive income as a developer by sharing your knowledge but what about the second thing well the second option that you could use in order to start earning money passively is working as a freelance what the heck is a freelancer? I, I know you might ask. A freelancer is typically somebody that offers their services to others. Like, for example, that you might be very good with marketing, detail marketing. It could be anything. Finance, and you offer your service as a freelancer, and you put yourself out there on a freelancing marketplace that people can go and find you. Among of them, one of them that is popular out there is Upwork. Yes, Upwork is a place that you could go and start putting things that you want people to book you for or order from you, and then you can offer them at that service. 
service. And then the second place, the other place you could also put yourself out there is Fiverr. Fiverr is a great platform that you can leverage in order to start selling what they call gigs on Fiverr and people start buying those from you. And again, it's free to start. You don't have to pay anything. Uh, Fiverr just literally take 20% from you when you start earning, uh, when you start getting people from you, but you get the customers out there already. And all you need to do is just put your gigs and people start buying from you. Another platform is Freelancer. Freelancer is another great place as well that you can list yourself as a freelancer and start getting those projects and you can start working on it. Now, the only downside about these spaces, they're not really passive income because once you get a project, then you go, you're going to have to work on it. But if you do this type of business model, that's called drop service. This is, this might need another video, but drop services is literally just handle the communication between the client, between the contractor. So you offer the service, you know, the service and you contract that service to somebody else. Now, this is more passive because you know, not doing the work somebody else is doing the work for you you just need to communicate with the customer and again this is the second option that you could use to be building passive income as a developer the third option is my favorite and this option is unlimited with things that you could do with this passively what is it well the third option is creating web or mobile apps what does that mean well if you're a software engineer you do of course know how to build at least a single web application but what can you do with this web app or what can you do with this mobile app well you can't find a common problems among millions of people and you turn that into a solution within a web application that millions of people can use. Well, in that way, you turn them into a web app that a lot of people can use. And this is where you build what they call a SaaS product, which is software as a service. And now you start charging people for it monthly uh, or quarterly, yearly, however you want to do that. But again, if you're not a software, you're interested in building something like this. Let me share with you two resources that might help you build something. And even your developer that might help you build something way faster than actual coding them. The first way is Bubble. Bubble.io. If you haven't heard of Bubble.io, you definitely need to check it out. You can pretty much build an entire SaaS product just using Bubble. Yes, literally just using Bubble, which means you create functionalities, you create workflow, you can even build subscription, charge people for it, just completely using Bubble. These are examples of different companies that are built using Bubble. For example, Good Gigs. Yes, this is pretty much like a job posting site. And they build their entire site using Bubble. And this is one of the platforms that you can leverage in order to build a SaaS product, or maybe you just want to code it out. This is something that you can leverage in order to build something that provides solution for common problems among millions and hundreds of millions of people. The only tool you can leverage, and this one is more for internal tooling. This is not more for a SaaS product, but you could be leveraged we tool in order to build something. Again, you don't need much coding. You just need to put things together. And the next thing you know, you get a web app or internal tooling ready for you to go. And a lot of these companies are using WeTool. This is something that you definitely need to check out. And not a great tool again, this is actually one of my favorite two as well. This is called Webflow. Webflow is the way you build things right now, even though you are a developer or you not, you need to check Webflow out because Webflow allow you to work with designers, marketers, developers. They all can build web page and instantly edit it on the fly. So think about it as Figma, but Figma to build real world app application that actually work. Yes, that actually work. I can charge customers to it, create login pages, pretty much everything with just a single knowledge and you don't even need to code in order to build things workflow. And yes, that was the third ways that you could be making money passively as a developer. But what are the fourth and fifth ways? This is where we're going to go to the fourth way. Fourth different ways you could be making money as a developer is tutoring. Yes, Tutoring, what does that mean? Well, you can share knowledge by letting people pick a time with you, maybe an hour, 30 minutes, whatever that is, and you can start tutoring people from different places in their coding journey. People that are just starting out with HTML or people that are just starting out with just JavaScript and you wanna help them to get to that journey, you can start doing that. Yeah, places you can start finding those people to tutor is tutorme.com. Now, if you go there, you'll find a lot of people that might be different subject, but you might find people too that might be interesting in like Python, JavaScript in different places, but one of my favorite company that I work for, and if you do find something that they have available, they're always looking for people to tutor. So if you're interested, if you want to share your knowledge, then I would highly recommend you a place called Triology Education Services. This is one of my favorite places. I'm still with them, going to continue to be with them because I really enjoy their tutoring service. Now, of course, they got a lot of things available, but if you go to their job post and search for uh, tutors, you'll find a lot of different subjects that you can tutor students 
student for with as a developer. Now you can find students that are completely just starting out from HTML, CSS all the way to more advanced like React, data science, and yada yada. But you got a chance to not only share your knowledge but also earn extra income as a developer. Now this way I might not consider as passive income, but if you think about it, it's still a little bit extra income that you earning as a developer by just sharing your knowledge with others. Last but not least, which is the fifth different ways you could be making money passively as a developer is affiliate marketing. Now, what is affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing is when you find software that you already are using and you just recommend it to others to use them too. Now, that's a great way to, for you to earn money passively and based on the software you use that might be popular or people start using it and you start earning extra income passively to it. Now, let me show you exactly how this works. So assuming that you are what they call an affiliate marketer, Shopify got a really great vlogs out there on what is affiliate marketing, but let me kind of walk you through on what that is. So first thing first, what you do as an affiliate marketer. So you find a program that you love, something that you feel promoting or sharing with anybody you want like you want people to use it because you felt like this is a great product well what you can do in this case is you find that software or store it could be anything that you enjoy then you start creating ads for it through your website your blog your social media or you can even run like ppc campaign for it or facebook ads or anything that you want to run for in order to promote that product or you can just build a course put it out there share with others and then you start getting traffic to your to that place. Now, when the customer is sent to that place, they are sent to something called tracking link, which is a way that the website owner or the business owner knows that this is you sending those people to. And that's how they track that those people are coming from you. Now, all you have to do is share your link, let people know to go there, and you can start making money. So once those people go there, they make a purchase, and then that goes to the affiliate network records and then from there it got sent out to the customer with the tracking link and then the transaction is accredited which means the transaction is complete and then you get your commission as a person that refer that customer now the cool thing with this once you build out a very strong affiliate marketing once you build out a very strong resources that you want to share with others and as people are navigating or as people are browsing on the internet they can find exactly what you're referring them to. And the more people that are going there, it's just a matter of you never have to go and check it. And that system is generating a lot of uh, passive income for you. Now, the more platform you recommend that you enjoy using, the more money, of course, you will be making as an affiliate marketer. And yes, these were the five different ways that you could be earning extra income passively as a developer. To review for you, we talk about teaching online, it's all about showing your passion. We talk about working as a freelancer. We talk about creating web or mobile apps, tutoring orders, and then affiliate marketing. Now, let me know which one of those that you did enjoy. As a developer watching this, maybe you weren't a developer. You just watched this and you thought this was cool. Let me know. And again, if you don't subscribe, we won't be able to produce videos like this. So make sure you subscribe for us to continue going on YouTube. And that way we could be producing more contents like this for people like you to find. And I hope to see you guys again for another video. See you tuned. My name was Stone Axme. It was a pleasure delivering this to you. Hasta la vista. Thank you.